Hello, guys. Welcome to the show. Yes, you're still tuned in to Wake Up Nigeria. And it's my favorite part of the show. I hope it is yours as well. It's the kitchen segment. And with me this morning is Chef Simbi. Hey. Good How are you doing? Good okay, morning. Thank you. Please, we know that you are Raz. Not for me, I'm in for me, who come and collected. <laughs> Just kidding, by the way. Anyways, yes, so the, she will be making yam pepper soup. Hey, Sims. Yes. Oh, yeah. Knew the ingredients. Okay, we have goat's meat. Yeah. Of course. Um, scent leaf. Um, crayfish. Okay. Grinded crayfish. The seasoning. So this particular one mm. is straight from Delta State. Oh, nice. Yes. So how do you know which to get? So um, the way we do it, we buy the raw ingredients and make it up. Oh, ah, okay. So tell us what the raw ingredients are. I can't stop making. So they are all in Delta State name. So eh, just mention it so that when we go to the market, we know what we are asking for. Since it seems to be like a common, um, common local spices for. It's my, it's my yeah, secret. It's my little secret. So mm. other people, they should go to the market and look for it by themselves. Uh, uh, she should I'm not mind her. Uh, she's thin. Don't worry. Okay, she stalls. wants you to patronize her by force, but it's all right. Go ahead. <laughs> There's salt, there's yeah. maggi. A seasoned cubes. Yes, there's onions, mm -hmm. grinded onions. This is blended. Yes, and then pepper. And then this is a game changer. I'm, I'm, I'm yes. Please. So, why is that a game changer? You want to tell us? So, I learned this recipe from <coughs> my grandma. Okay. My late grandma. Okay. May her soul rest in peace. Um, whenever she puts this, mm. it just gives it a whole new taste. Oh. Like it's just different. Tomatoes. Yes. Never thought. Never and then thought. we also have our yam, our almighty yam. Okay, great. Uh, and I, you didn't mention our goats. Yes, meat. I did. First okay. Time there, I did. Okay. Right. Nice. 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 Okay. So there's a popular name that this is called in actually in Delta States. Yes. So What's it called? You can call it okodo. Okodo. Nice. And this is a fantastic recipe if you're ill, if you're, you know, having chills. Well, like her name, SDK chills. Yeah. If you're having the chills, if you're having the flu, the yam pepper soup usually is always your go-to. And, well, a lot of people also take it to relax, you know, with a cold bottle of, you know, you know. But, okay. So let's get cooking, right? Yes. So what are we starting with? We're starting with... Um Putting water in the pot okay. and then putting the yam. Okay, which cook. you've done already? N yes, which I've done already. Okay. But I'm not going to use this pot. So okay, you're going to use a bigger pot yes. because we want to show, yes. want to get all of this it evidence has to be spacious in. Oh, yeah. nice. If you're just joining us, people, with me is Chef Simbi, and we are making yam pepper soup, popularly known as ukodo, if you are from Delta State. On your screen right there are the ingredients, people, go through them. If it's something that you'd like to try, out, even though the weather is pretty hot these days, uh, who said you could also you could do you know have them at night. And if you're ill, it's a fantastic recipe. It's basically your go-to recipe. It helps you know to wake up those senses, you know, and you know just it also helps because I'm um, um, the pepper soup spice itself has a lot of medicinal properties. Yes, it, does. it actually does. You know, it does. And then this is our scent leaf, right? Yes. It also has a lot of medicinal properties. So that's why it's always recommended for when you you know, you have the chills or when you have the flu or a fever. Yes. So we're about to, you know, we're get, about to get started here. So now that our water is so ready. So because how long do we cook the yam for? Um, for like uh, 30 to 40 minutes. That long? Yeah, because I need everything to oh, marinate. Okay. So normally I'm supposed to cook the goat's meat first, but the okay. goat's meat is already... Ready. Yes. Mm. So I don't want to make it too soft. Soft, okay. So that's okay. why I'm putting the yam, yam first, first and then putting the other things All together. right, guys, okay. we'll be, you know, right back here shortly um, because we need you to be a part of everything that's going on here in the kitchen so we're not leaving you behind. Yes, uh, with me in the kitchen is Chef Simbi and we are making... Goat's meat, yam, pepper soup, right? Let's run through the ingredients once again, Simbi. Okay, so we have goat's meat, mm -hmm. we have scent leaf, we have um, salt. salt, and maggi, and then there's pepper mix, and tomatoes, and onions. Okay. And in here, it, 
is yam. Okay. Can you open it up so that yes. we can see what's yam. in Yam. We have the pepper soup ingredients. We mm -hmm. have grinded crayfish. And also, what else? We have grinded onions. Did you That's add it. a bit of salt in there? No, I've not, not added. No, not yet. Okay. I needed to boil a bit okay. before I put Okay. Um, so earlier on, we're actually checking on the heat. Let's do that again. Let's mm -hmm. see if it is where we need it to be because this yam pepper soup has to cook. Shop, 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 shop. <laughs> Okay, so um, while we're um, you know while we're letting the yam cook, um, I'll remind you of what the ingredients are. And it's coming right there on your screen in a bit. Yes, there it is. Um, so those are the ingredients for our goat meat yam pepper soup this morning. With me is Chef Simbi. And um, yes, yeah, so we have our yam, we have our salt, onions, crayfish, goat's meat, seasoning cubes, and the pepper soup spice. And tomatoes as well. So earlier when you were talking about your grandma's secret recipe and how she would use tomatoes, chopped tomatoes yes. in the yam pepper soup. Never heard of that before. I would never use yam um, tomatoes, but hey, I'm definitely going to try this one out. So tell me, what is that extra thing that tomatoes add to the yam pepper soup? So... Some people don't really like it when it's very pepperish. Okay. So it just calms it down. Like okay. It just gives it a bit of subtle, like, okay, I can eat it. I mm. can, I, I, it doesn't matter if there's a lot of pepper mm. or mm. something, but okay. I can So it balances it. out yes, on the, yes. you know, um, on the um, heat. Yes, it just it. calms okay. everything. Okay. Okay. Um, like I said, I've never had um, tomatoes before in my pepper soup. I'm really looking forward to it. So um, once our yam and uh, starts to, you know, cook up, well, what, are, what, what goes in next? Then I put the pepper, the seasoning, <coughs> and the goat's meat. The goat's so meat. everything we can just marinate okay. together. And then how long do we leave it for um, once that's been added? When the yam is done, okay. then I know that everything will be fine. Once okay. the yam is okay. okay, I just need the yam to get done, then All right. everything will be fine. So, guys, let's bear in mind that our goat meat pepper soup has already been cooked, um, right? Yes, Till so it's soft. Yes, it's soft, yes, enough, yes, soft yes, enough, yes, right? Yes, yes. yes it's, been, um, it's been cooked already. And then, um, so in a, in a minute, our pepper is going in as well. Yes, so earlier when I was talking about the medicinal properties of pepper soup spice. It's got amazing health benefits and medicinal properties that's actually good for you, especially if you are down with the flu. If you're you know, down with a cold, with a flu, with a fever, pepper soup actually really helps that because of its medicinal properties in the pepper soup spice and the scent leaves. Scent leaves are amazing, guys. You do not underestimate it at all. Oh, do not even underrate it. And it's fun because you could actually like plant them, you know, in your kitchen area, you know, in a very, you know, in no matter how small your home is, you could just, you know, have your little pods yes. and then you plant your scent leaves. Scent leaves, curry leaves, yes. right? They're like a must have. Yeah. And bitter leaf. And bitter leaf. All of these leaves are, you know, already packed with so many nutrients and properties that are very, 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 that have amazing health nutritional benefits. Okay, so our yam is cooking. If you're just joining me here in the kitchen, it's Chef Simbi. And um, this seems to be taking a while. I wonder why, sorry. Just give me a minute. Let's check the heat here. And let's find, let's, you know, try and, um, okay. No, no, it's not the, po so yeah, it's on now. Like it's on, so it's gonna cook before we know it. And um, next up, we are putting in our goat's meat, which is all, which has already been cooked, our pepper and our tomatoes. You know, to just balance out on the heat from the pepper. Great stuff happening here in the kitchen. I'm super excited. Go. Welcome to the kitchen, Chica. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, this is Chef Simbi, and this morning she's made for you yam goat's meat yam pepper soup. Oh. So are quickly, I'm a fan. Enjoy. All right. And um, yeah, <laughs> all right. So I hope that Tell is human enough think. for you to enjoy. Yeah. It smells amazing, though. Yeah, it smells so nice. It smells good, yeah. yeah. I would like to have water first. Thank yes. you. Right. <laughs> water first, yeah. All right then. So um, it's it's just so interesting, you know, um, when you have a face for, you know, projects like that. It's, it's mm. really really deep. 
Thank you so much for right. doing what Thank you, you for giving me food. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yes, I wasn't expecting this. Of course, please <laughs> enjoy. Too hot, too pepper, mm, too okay? Too spicy. Uh, okay. Uh, you don't like pepper? Yeah. You like pepper? <laughs> I like pepper. Well, well, it's okay. It's okay. All right then. So taste the yam, taste the yam, taste the yam. All right All then. Right. So we trust that some people need some extra spice mm -hmm. to make their day mm -hmm. uh, the best. Personally, yeah, I can't wait to dive into this because it, it punches me enough with all the smell. I'm, I'm telling you. Know, you. The I bet you will love it. <laughs> You think you love it, right? Yeah, you love it. So All right, right. nice. Keep well done, Chef Simbi. Yes. You.